Who wants to be selling to the back with some more space engineers? So yes, I am back. Technically, I've been back in the UK for about two days now, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get back to the uh, the point here. Now, firstly, before um just before anyone goes and says that what I'm about to show you is a bit shit of what I've built, <clears throat> to be honest, I, it's because, like I've said, I haven't been in, back in the country very long. I've not really been doing a lot of engineers, if any. Actually, I've only done a bit this morning. Um, but purely, I haven't been. Uh, I've run out of obviously the videos that I pre-recorded. Um, so at the moment, i am just been catching up with my games, just, you know, taking my, the load off my feet, as it were, for a bit, because, as you would expect when you're on holiday, you kind of go sightseeing, so you're walking around and trudging around and climbing hills and castles and fuck knows where else. So, videos may be a little bit stunted, uh, at least until I get back into the swing of things. Not to mention I've got work tomorrow, so uh, that's another reason why I'm just sort of trying to get this video ra uh, out right now. So it's going to be a little bit rushed, um, if you couldn't tell. Anyway... I'm going to briefly talk to you guys about solar energy. Now, we all know how these things work, or at least how solar panels work, and before anyone does uh, call me a plagiarizing person, <clears throat> this, uh, is plagiarizing even the right word? I don't know. This solar panel is not mine, this is uh, someone's uh, creation on the workshop here. I could not remember the guy's name, who, who whatever. Um, but this is one of these solar tracker things, which is actually not working for some reason. I don't know, maybe it broke in a recent update or something, but it's one of these devices which is, you know, not okay, it's a moderate size solar array, but it tracks the sun. Or at least that's what it's supposed to do. Um, now, really, as I am probably not alone in this, uh, although despite how long scripts have been in the game, I stay away from scripts because I don't have the patience or the willpower or primarily the intelligence to understand how the hell, hell scripts work, because scripting is getting into, is the sort of very early stages of coding, in my opinion, and... I just don't have the mental capacity to try and understand this. Um, but anyway, solar panels for the most part, we do uh, in engineers, we mount them either, well, at an angle to the sun, a bit like that thing, but I'll get to that crazy thing in a second. Um, we mount them either flat onto a, a side of a, you know, your cliff face if you're on a mountain top, or you mount them just on at least a fixed plane, that's what I'm trying to get at here. Now I'll say, of course, if you know how to do these things, you can make solar trackers, which this thing is actually entirely broken. Uh, like I said, the tracking feature seems to have stopped working. I actually had to sort of fiddle around with it uh, to even get it to point in this direction. And this direction is not even um, perfect, because obviously the sun's up there and it's pointing over there. Now, that thing in the distance is meant to be a bit of a weird way of doing this, but it's a concept, like I said, it's not actually a finished creation, because, like I said, I haven't had time to do anything, um, but it's essentially an equatorial uh, solar array. Now, what I mean by that is, if you happen to live at the, I mean, it's actually quite a selfish planetary, to be honest, if you live on the equator of a planet, the sun is going to rise from, well, I, you would presume the east um, sets in the west, or was it, was it the other way around? I can't remember. Um, but it'll rise from one point, pretty much go right over your head, and then set on the opposite side. Now, you can use that to your advantage with a system like that, as, as you can sort of see where the various angles the sun would rise, and as the sun arcs across the sky, you essentially have at least a solar array of some description, always at least vaguely pointing um, towards the sun, and it just saves the a lot of the moving parts with these trackers. Although, yes, a tracker like this, assuming it was working, of course, would be invariably more uh, efficient uh, than even this this creation here. Also, just I'll just show you a bit of a funny thing I've I've spotted as of recently. I don't know what mod I've got that uh, I've got going on at the moment, but I've had this I've had this uh, before where rotors, interestingly. Um, because, like, normally, what's the maximum speed of a rotor? Isn't it around, what was it, about, th like, 30 RPMs? Maybe 60? I can't remember. Like, rotors are not meant to spin that fast. Well, you can see that if I... I this, this um, whatever mod I've got going on here, it seems to allow me to spin things very quickly. I've barely cranked this thing up. Um, I... This is going to probably break. Um... <laughs> in a minute here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what mod is doing this, allowing me to crank the speed up faster and faster. I might have hit, I might have been hitting a physics limit in a minute. You know, let's just crank it all the way. Yeah, okay, we need more talk. Hitting the danger zone. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this is not gonna end well, is it? Oh god. How... I... It, the, the frame rate is... Uh, the, the physics speed's dropping. Oh god. Um, it hasn't broke. I can hear it clunking. That's very interesting. Right, stop, 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 stop. Um, well, 
Yes. <laughs> very, um, very interesting indeed. No idea what's causing that, but fun nonetheless. Um, but anyway, the simple premise of this thing is pretty self-explanatory. It is just a, a, a random construct with a bunch of angled panels. There isn't too much to say about it, although, as you can see here, I have utilised the accumulators, which... I'm not going to lie, I might think of making a few of these in real life. And an accumulator, at least my definition of an accumulator, I, I actually need to like look up the technical definition of one, uh, go to the local dictionary, wherever that is, online of course. Um, but yeah, it's just a big large power source which obviously, well, I say obviously, it accumulates power over time at a slow rate, but it has a monstrous capacity. But then it can also output power accordingly, but at a slow but continuous rate. And let me uh, let me actually find an accumulator. I mean, hang on, we got to where did I put it? There it is. Um, now accumulators, they actually, I mean, it's a mod if you couldn't tell, but these things hold a lot of power. Like they're yeah, forty-six point eight megawatt hours apiece, and uh, they are fully charged at the present. But then that's mostly because uh, the well, I mean, creative mode of things charge up anyway. Uh, apparently at 51 um, watts of output, fully depleted in 105 years. Hmm, yes. Um, <laughs> I do. That's one thing I do like about engineers, as is actually true with a lot of games nowadays, especially ones that are somewhat space-related. Um, I think even No Man's Sky does this as well, uh, where they actually, like, Actually, I think even Elite Dangerous does something similar, where, you know, you're, say you're travelling from A to B, or even, in this case, uh, the, the power systems, the time it says that you have fuel remaining in your ship, for example, is actually real, like, real-life time. And same with, say, so in, in the in the case of No Man's Sky, you're, you're going from A to B, if you're not using your pulse drive or whatnot, that time it takes to get to the planet in question is actually real-life time. I do kind of like that touch, it just... I suppose it kind of puts into perspective, I suppose, speed versus the actual size of space and stuff like that. And I suppose in engineers, it, it gives a bit more of a realistic sort of outlook on time and fuel and everything else. Um, not to mention the in-game days do vary depending on your world settings, so you can't really base it on that. Uh, for anyone who's actually wondering, these solar panels are the um, XXL solar panels, I believe, from Industrial XL. Uh, one of my favourite mods, mostly because you sometimes... Oh, actually, no, you don't. You more often than not need big tools, big welders, big drills, big ass storage containers, just bigger everything. And let's ignore the innuendo there. <laughs> but you, you, we always need to process more and more things. So having bigger things to process said things even faster and more efficiently is uh, what you need. But anyway, yes, that's all I'm going to really say for this thing, is that it's just a simple construct. But let me know, for, for those who have played more survival than I have, have you ever considered if you did live in, on the equator of a planet, or actually, hell, if you, um, you could even do this in a, you could actually do, oh, I might actually make, <laughs> this might be my next thing I'll make, but a, um, a space station with essentially 360 degrees of solar panels, uh, such that as the sun orbits, um, orbits around the station, there's solar panels facing every possible direction, so the power output should be damn near constant because the sun is always on at least one or two or three of the, of the actual solar arrays in question. Um, so hey, that might be the next thing. But yeah, as I was saying, if any of you guys in Done Survival made anything like this um, in terms of solar panels, because I don't know, it just seems like an abstract concept, but uh, there you go. Or even hell, uh, I suppose getting a bit more down to earth, quite literally. Um, if I don't just slam into the building here. Have any of you actually, do, or do any of you, make any of these um, solar trackers? As, like I said, I don't know how to how to freaking script, and I don't really think I have the patience to learn it, if I'm being uh, very uh, bluntly obvious. Or obviously honest? Yes, I think that's the term. But, yeah, these things definitely would be more efficient, and I suppose if I did figure out how the hell to um, script, I could just start attaching some of the big, um, some of the big solar panels, like uh, this guy here. This uh, this big construct, attach one of those to a solar tracker, so, I don't know, it's all food for thought. So anyway, yes, that's what I'm going to say for now, like I said, uh, videos might um, be a bit stunted until I get things back into the swing of things, because of the whole being on holiday and all that. Um, so yes, I'm going to shut up now, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this random solar panel down below, down below in the comments. Uh, link to my Discord is in the description as always, and you'll know the duel by now, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.